Olympics and I was so encouraged to see so many people from so many different places to come to talk about genocide and the uh, urge and the, and the call for those people to continue the conversation in a parliamentary way, parliamentarians around the world. I hope that that will help further the cause, but of course the acknowledgement of the Armenian genocide is in a crucial step in, in, in benefiting future generations and preventing them and protecting them from future genocide. You have to have hope that one day Turkey will, will stop denying. I think in the U.S. it's a little bit different. It's not an outright denial. It's just not an open acknowledgement. And it's so political in the U.S. and, and, and it's, it's, it's shameful. Uh, hopefully the U.S. will come around and hopefully Turkey will come around. Uh, and the other countries that have been unable to officially acknowledge the genocide. So uh, we work very hard to make that happen um, and we hope and pray very hard that that will happen soon. In the case of the U.S., it's all about um, the strategic value of Turkey in the Middle Eastern, in the Middle Eastern uh, relations, I believe. But, um, it's, it's hard to imagine how uh, disappointed I am, as well as obviously Armenian Americans are, that our government uh, cannot take the step to acknowledge the genocide. Your grand grandfather was uh, born in town. What do you do personally so as to come to the recognition in U.S.? Well, to talk to elected officials and um, make sure that they understand that it's very important to us. Elected officials in the U.S. respond to polls and they respond to contributions. They respond to lobbying. Um, I'm not a big political contributor, but I am uh, good at lobbying, good at talking to elected officials. Because of who I am, I have some access, so I try as hard as I can. Um, but it's it's a little bit like knocking my head against the wall. People are sympathetic, people understand, and they vote the other way anyway. I had a very senior former uh, senator, well-known, and who's, who, when I met him, said to me, he said, the thing I most regret in my service in uh, the Senate was voting against the Armenian Genocide. And he said an even more powerful senator offered him a seat on a committee if he would vote against the genocide. He said, I did, and I, it, was the, it, he said, it was the stupidest thing I ever did. But it's all internal politics and it's hard to break into. It's your first visit, yes, to Armenia. What feelings did you have being here? What you felt? Well, it's an incredibly moving and powerful experience. And, um, I'm just a descendant. I haven't done anything nearly as much as he did. But I feel so lucky to be a descendant because there are so many descendants who never were because of the genocide. And so it's, it reminds me every day of how lucky we are to be alive, how fragile life is, how fragile uh, democracy is around the world. And it is also just an incredibly deep honor how strongly Armenians remember what was done for them by my great grandfather. It's very, very gratifying, I can't tell you. And it's humbling because every person says to me, thank you. And they're not thanking me for anything I've done, they're thanking me for something my great grandfather did. So it just shows that good work, really good work, lasts generations. And that should be a model to us all to try to do as, as best we can in our life.